hi everyone thank you thank you so much for coming back again in this uh, channel and if you are new here thank you thank you thank you very much please click like and subscribe so that you will be part of my channel and you will be notified if i have new videos to upload okay so in today's video i want to share these 11 things not to do here in maldives so it's either you will come as a tourist or you will come as a staff here especially if your first time then this video is very recommended for you to be aware of what to do uh, when coming here in Maldives so that we will avoid some troubles or some like some problems when coming here right yes so before that i'm janice and welcome welcome to my channel if you are new here please click like and subscribe so that you will be part of my channel and you will be notified if we upload a new video if you are a returning viewer thank you thank you so much for coming back here are the 11 things not to do in maldives okay so number one is alcohol is not allowed here in maldives yes because it's a muslim country yeah it's not allowed so it's not allowed for you to import any alcohol or it's not allowed for you to buy or sell alcohol unless you have license to have that one or like um, unless you will go to a resort then you can buy alcohol there and uh, you can drink alcohol also yeah but in local islands or like for example in Malay city it's not allowed alcohol is not allowed and also in safari boats yeah uh, in safari boats they allow alcohol also because they have license to buy or to sell that um, alcohol yeah and uh, i remember in Malay city there is a bar there for foreigners that only foreigners can go there for um for drinking like that and i remember my co-workers before usually they always going there for uh, drinks yeah and the second thing is public displays of affection is not allowed here in maldives because uh, uh, maldives is a bit conservative country right so even a uh, peck on the cheek is not allowed i think only allowed is the holding hands yeah number three is bikinis is not allowed in resort is very free you can use everything you want to use like uh, shorts or bikinis two-piece bathing suit you can uh, you can use it's allowed but in local islands or in city like in malay it's not allowed yes it's a big no even if short sleeves or short pants like um, very short pants it's really not allowed because here is a um, muslim country right it's a bit conservative country so be careful of what you use <laughs> yes and i remember when i was working in a uh, hotel in hulumale before uh, we have a guest that they don't know that um using of bikinis in hulumale beach is not allowed so they went there they are couples and then police is uh, checking them and then they also wrote in a guest guest log in a uh, booking.com reviews right they they wrote their uh, their situation like that uh, there are police who are checking them they are telling that uh, bikinis is not allowed in that beach and yeah uh, that is a local island so it's not supposed to be using uh, bikinis there is a bikini uh, bikini beach there in Hulumale but it's a bit far and we don't know that they were they were going uh, in hulumali beach with bikinis yeah so we didn't also mention but some guests who are asking that uh, where is the bikini beach yeah and then we are telling them that this place is where you can go this is where the bikini beach is number four is pork products or pornographic items or cigarettes is not allowed here in Maldives even uh, like religious texts or religious books like that is not allowed so it's better we will avoid to bring those things so that we will not have uh, any troubles here and I remember when I went vacation before and then my my friend asked me to bring some box from her mom and I don't know that um, that box have pork meat inside and then I just bring 
I just bring right and then when the immigration here in Malay check that uh, my luggage and then maybe they don't know also that that uh, plastic is consisting of pork meat they were just concentrating to want to open that one um, one vitamin vitamin C and then uh, they did not check that box so it's lucky <laughs> Number five is purchasing of any turtle or uh, seashells are not allowed or coral shells is not allowed Yes, because those are considered as endangered species here in Maldives So the government is protecting them even a killing of turtles or um, Selling them is not really allowed and also um, What you call that manta? Manta rays is also considered as endangered species so it's not allowed to kill those animals and I remember one time we were having a fishing in safari boat before and then we were so excited that we can catch a big uh, big fish we were expecting there is a big fish that we catch but um, because that was very difficult to pull up the bait right so and then when it came out it's a manta so we need to let go that manta because it's not allowed it might create some trouble if we will not put uh, put back in water yeah so number six is drinking tap water is not recommended it is much recommended in and it is much better to buy the water that you will drink yeah you you buy from shop that's the one you will drink because it is more safer than uh, drinking that tap water and according to some they said that the water here in Maldives is uh, undergoing a different process to make clear and uh, to be free from uh, germs and bacteria so when coming here in Maldives it's very important for you to know that uh, drinking tap water is not that good safety is much important so before coming here in Maldives it's very recommended for you to know that uh, drinking tap water is not really recommended so number seven avoid throwing of garbage everywhere especially in sea in water because it's really sad to see that uh, there are many garbage uh, floating in water it's really so sad and it's really sad to see also the many garbage that are scattered everywhere like in pathways or like in jetties it's very dirty like many uh, garbage floating there it's not really good so number eight is don't forget to apply sunscreen don't forget to prepare and bring some sun sunscreen because it's very painful to have sunburn i tried already like only two hours we were uh, enjoying playing or paddling in um, beach and then after that i went home i didn't feel any pain in my skin and after like night time late night already when i go to sleep and then i felt very painful even i take out my t-shirt it's painful really it's like i didn't feel that uh, before after only maybe a few hours i felt that sunburn so next is it's not advisable to use shoes here in maldives shoes or high heel sandals is not advisable yeah so it's better for you to bring a uh, flat uh, sandals like that or it's better not to use any um any shoes or any slippers at all because it's very nice to walk uh in beach with your um with your feet only <laughs> yeah it's very relaxing to walk in sand okay next number 10 and this is very important to know also uh, don't expect that your uh, shipping flight or even your domestic flight is on time yes because mostly these flights are being delayed yes so sometimes it will be delayed for one hour so don't ever ever expect because if you expect maybe you feel uh, disappointed yes many um many tourists are like that they were expecting like this like this but it's not really the one they expected so this is very important for first timers here in Maldives. and last but not the least number 11 
is don't forget that uh, resort time is uh, ahead than Mali time. It's ahead for one hour. Yes, because of some reasons they make it uh, one hour advance. Yeah. So like for example, if you have appointments in resort, you always remember that one hour ahead they have compared to Mali time. Yeah. Okay, so those are the 11 things not to do here in Maldives. And thank you, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in our next videos. Don't forget to click like and subscribe so that you will be part of my channel and you will be notified if we have new videos to upload. Thank you. Bye.